Welcome inside Yahoo Sports. I'm Michelle Jenkins, joined now by senior NBA writer Vince Goodwill. Vince, we knew this year was going to be a rebuilding year for the Knicks. However, the start that they've had has surprised a lot of people. Do you find yourself in that category? Absolutely. Yes, I'm surprised that they're as bad as they are. Look, we knew they weren't going to be good. But I didn't expect them to be this bad. When they made signings in free agency, when you sign uh, Marcus Morris and you br bring in R.J. Barrett and you bring in Julius Randle on a big money deal, you expect them to at least be competitive. They've lost games at home on Sundays against the Sacramento Kings and the Cleveland Cavaliers, teams who are not very good, with an essence of 20 and 30 points. Those are the games that are disappointing, not necessarily the record, but it's how you get there. Steve Mills coming out, Scott Perry as well saying, you know, hosting an impromptu press conference after one of the most recent games, basically saying we're not happy with the current state of this team. That then, from there, rumors starting to spread about the head coach. Could he be in trouble? What are your thoughts on that? I don't know if he could be in trouble. I think there's always going to be some element of speculation when you get your general manager and your team president come out after a game in an impromptu way talking before the co head coach does, David Fisdale. So of course right. it's going to bring about some level of rumors and because it's the Knicks it's always going to be some fodder for sort of the tabloids. But do I believe that Fisdale has maximized the best he could out of this roster? Absolutely not. Do I think that Fisdale has had a lot to work with in a way of marketable talent that you can depend on every night? No, there's not that one guy that you can just say, hey, I'm giving the ball to you. You're going to get out, go out and give me 25. But I think he needs to do a better job of managing the players that he has and figuring those things out. There's a way to maximize this and get this to 30-something wins as opposed to bottoming out and looking like a 15 or 16 win team that they look like right now. Is there anything that you can point to that they need to shore up? in the interim or as quickly as possible, I guess. I guess point guard play. It's mm -hmm. a point guards league, and right now they've been they've, they've been shuffling around Franklin and Aquina, and Dennis Smith Jr. has been out, and for Peyton has been on, Peyton's been their best point guard. But as a whole, they need stability at that position. Exactly. That helps you in hard, so many other ways. And hard to find ways. chemistry if you don't have stability at the point guard position, it, right? It, it's hard to find a lot of different things when a lot of your other positions aren't showing up. Good point guard play is like the elixir to a lot of the, a lot of the bad smells that can come out of a different team. But the Knicks don't have that right now, so it makes everything look worse. All right, they've got a lot of young talent on their team. Hopefully they'll be able to develop it and figure it out. For all things NBA, make sure you keep it locked right here on Yahoo Sports.